and family. Well, here I am in our computer and music room in our house. This is a place I go almost every morning. Many times when I'm in here, I feel God's calling, presence, and words to share something. And that's usually a message to my five adult grandsons. I love the surroundings here. I can look out the windows and see the beauty of nature all around us. And of course, there's music. And as you can see, I'm surrounded by some of my instruments, which I play in church, depending upon the songs that we do. I have to tell you, for me, it's an immense privilege to be able to be a part of Thankful Heart, to play with these wonderful musicians and to help people worship our Lord. And because of technology, I can practice songs that we're going to do by listening to YouTube videos, and using music tracks packages that let me practice along with the actual track done by the artist. The song I was just doing is absolutely one of my favorites, and I'm sure I'm not alone in that regard. This song, Amazing Grace, has such powerful words, and I think that's because of where it came from. You see, it was written by John Newton in 1772, and he wrote the words from personal experience. And I think this is an incredible story. After Mr. Newton left the British Royal Navy, he became involved in the slave trade across the Atlantic. He experienced somewhat of a spiritual awakening during a violent storm, but it wasn't until some years later he was actually ordained as a minister, and he began to write hymns. And then he penned the words, to a poem called Amazing Grace to illustrate a sermon for New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, 1773. So from a slave trader to the author of one of the most beautiful, powerful, and popular religious songs ever written, who would have thought that could happen, right? But I believe our God works in ways we don't always understand. And here's an event in history that shows that a man can come from the darkest of places and be brought into God's light and be given words that show that redemption and forgiveness can come from the deepest despair and evil. I th I've seen grace described as God's riches at Christ's expense. I think that's just so appropriate. The richness of God's love and forgiveness made available to us because of Christ's suffering, death, and resurrection. God says there's hope for all of us. He offers his forgiveness no matter what we've done or what we feel or how hopeless we think things are. And he says he'll be with us through all of our troubles. Amazing grace. Be well, my friends. God loves you.